Amanda, I'll take you have your phone on you. Yes, I do, actually. Uh, if you stand here for me. Amanda, I'd like you to scroll through your contact list and stop on somebody at random. OK. Look at this person's last three digits of their phone number. Yeah. Once you've got that in your mind, lock the phone and put your phone on the desk. Just say this person's name over and over again in your mind. I really hope we get this. And even though you picked this person, you had a free choice. Is that right? Andrew? Amanda, in a loud, clear voice, what are the three numbers you're thinking of? 415. 415? That's exactly what I've got. Thank you. Of course, Amanda, this is a contact in your phone. In a loud, clear voice, whose number is this? My sister, Debbie. Debbie? That's what I've got. <laughs> Amanda, thank you so much. Please take a seat. Thank you. Why would you do that? Simon, please join us on stage. And I'm sure everyone here will give you a really big hand. Simon! Yay! Oh, Good luck, oh, Simon! Oh. Love you, Simon! Go this side of the stage thank for you, us. Simon. Thank you. Simon, would you hold that, please? We're going to go on an imaginary journey in your mind. Oh, don't. Oh, God, oh, don't dear. go there. Don't oh, go there. Oh, dear. I'd like you to imagine that you're standing outside a house. You look at the door and you see a number on the door. Any number you like, Simon, please write it down. Just try to say that number over and over again in your mind. You now go into this imaginary house and you go into a living room. You look at the wall of the living room and you see a colour painted on the walls. Please write it down. Just imagine that colour all around us now. You're focused on it, right? And even though you picked that colour, you could have had anyone. You now go into the kitchen. You look over at the wall and you see a celebrity calendar. It could be anyone you like, Simon. Now, although you picked this person, that was a free choice. You know that, right? You know that. And even though you picked this person, you had a choice of thousands. Andrew? I, I am getting something. Simon was asked to imagine he was standing in front of a house. He imagined a door, he imagined a number. Simon, you then walked into the house, you looked at a room that was in a single colour, then you're asked to think of a celebrity, anyone in the world. Simon, I believe you're thinking 717. You're thinking of the colour turquoise. You're thinking of Sir Roger Moore. May I? Ladies and gentlemen, exactly the number 717. He thought of wow. turquoise. Oh. You chose Roger Moore. Simon, thank you so much. Many of you may be wondering how we read minds. What you should be wondering is how we started off this performance wearing camouflage t-shirts and ended up wearing black. We are DNA. Today I'm going to show you some of my two favourite things, magic and reading, using my three favourite books. My first favourite author is Colin Davis, Math and Magical. Amanda, could you look through the book and see if each page is different? Yes, darling. My second favourite author is Enid Blight and the Magical Faraway Tree. Alicia, could you look through the book and see if each page is different? OK. My third favourite author is David Williams, The Midnight Gang. <laughs> <laughs> David, could you look through the book and see if each page is different? It would be a pleasure. <laughs> yes. While still doing that, Simon, could you pick up my box and put it on the floor for me, please? Where? Over there. <laughs> Very bossy. <laughs> Down here? Yeah. I can't lift it. <laughs> David, do you want to go and help I it? I literally can't lift it. <laughs> 
trying to gather. Go on. To me, to you. To me, to you. <laughs> it won't lift. Oh, wait one minute. Could you sit back down for me, please? Right, go sit down. Go sit down. No, you as well. <laughs> Do as you tell them. Uh... Okay. Right, I'm back. <laughs> what <has that> happened? <laughs> Simon, I want to show you a car trick, but it's a car trick. Hang on, right now. I'm still a bit scared after that. <laughs> Give me five seconds. Okay. As you can see, all the cards are different. Yeah, I can. I'm going to turn them face down, and I want you to touch the back of any card. All right, that one. That. Thank you. I want you to look at your card for remembering don't let anyone else see. I won't. OK. Now, Simon, you're the boss. I want you to pick any book, either Amanda, Alicia or David's. Alicia's, please. <laughs> Alicia's book has about 600 pages. Could you name a number between 1 and 600? It's 77. Alicia, could you turn your book to page 77 yes. for me, please? And check if all the words are different. Yes, all the words are different. Now, could you pick any word and tell us what it is? Kettle. Kettle. Remember, Sam, you could have picked any book, and Alicia, you could have chosen any word, but you chose kettle. Yes. See this blackboard? Before the show tonight, I wrote a word on the board. Watch. No way. What was your card? It's the Four of Diamonds. Oh. Why were people so excited about that talking dog on Britain's Got Talent? Amanda Holden's been on it for years. <laughs> and deck backstage, but I'm never quite sure which one's supposed to be the funny one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's killing us all! <laughs> Alicia? Oh, no. <laughs> Alicia laughing? Oh, no. Alicia not dancing. <laughs> <laughs> He reminds me a lot of my dad. He's a cross dresser. He gets especially cross when he can't find his socks. <laughs> <laughs> I was really worried for David Williams when he swam on the River Thames for charity because of all that garbage going in his mouth. But since I've been watching BGT, I'm relieved it's all coming out again. <laughs> That and in a book. We're closer than ripples that play in a brook. We're alone but far from blue. Here we go. He's my shadow. Daddy and me. Wow, it's good. 
They loved him here. I'm a talented man. <laughs>